Okay, you pretty much already got this rule down when you're multiplying, say, something like, oh, I don't know, 3 times 2. Yep, that's 6. It's a positive and a positive. So a positive times a positive will always result in a positive. A positive integer times a positive integer results in a positive integer. What about an 2 times negative 3? This could be seen as hmm, two groups of negative threes. So oh, you have a negative, a negative, and a negative in one group. Looks like a smiley face. <laughs> or a face, not smiling. A negative, negative, negative in another group. That's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six negatives. So the answer is negative six. You can also look at it as this. Two groups of negative three would be negative three plus negative three equals a negative six. Okay, so we got that one down now. So this is going to be a, a positive, this is a positive 2, times a negative equals a negative. And if we switch the order, if we did a negative 3 times a positive 2, we're still going to get negative 6. So a negative times a positive is also a negative. Finally, you have the negative uh, 3 times a negative 2. This is like taking away, this sort of means taking away three groups of negative 2s. <laughs> and it's like when you take away things that are negative in your life, they be, you feel positive. So the answer is going to be a positive 6. We're just really doing 3 times 2. And they kind of cancel each other out. It's like, okay, this negative and this negative, they really just sort of cancel each other out by, by negative. Hello, positive. So a negative times a negative equals a positive. Now the next way, what if you get something like, oh, negative 3 times negative 2 times negative 1. Aha! Well, now we have three negatives. What's that, Mr. Hoffman? What's a negative times a negative times a negative? There's a few ways you could figure this out. You could look for a pattern that we've already kind of, amongst the things we've already done. If you look for a pattern, here's one positive, two positives equals a positive. So this is two positives. Well, let's look, wait, let's put this right over here. Da, da, da. So this is two positives. Okay. Uh, one positive, only one positive in this one. This one only has one positive. Uh, you know what? Let's look at negatives. <laughs> I, I hate to be all negative after I've talked to you about all being positive and everything. But, you know, I'm going to get a little bit negative on you. How many negatives are in this one? Okay, zero negatives. There we go. How many negatives are in this one? One. How many negatives are in this one? One. How many negatives are in this one? Two. How many negatives are in this one? Three. Okay, so um, hmm. let's see here. If we did, ooh, so when we just did our negative three times two, we got a positive six. Oh, so we're really taking this positive six and multiplying it by, oh yeah, this is it. I think we got this. Multiplying that by negative one. And we already know a positive times a negative using this rule right here, we end up with a negative. So this is going to be negative. And so I'm trying to get, I was trying to go somewhere different with this, with the pattern. So maybe we can actually get an, another data piece so we can recognize a pattern because we don't have enough data here to really make this pattern jump out at you. So what if we did a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative? There's going to be four negatives. Then what do you think that's going to be? Well, now you might see the pattern. When we have zero, it's a positive. When we have one negative, two positive, three negative, four Hmm, that should be a positive based on the pattern, right? Well, let's test it out. We can add another negative one to this. So we can take, mm -hmm, well, we can do this. We can take our answer from what we just did and make it work. So let's clean it up a little bit, getting a little crazy. 
getting a lot crazy. So this would be a negative times a negative. Now, nah, and then we had a negative three times a negative two times a negative one, and we said that was uh, that equaled a. See, three times two is six times one is also six. So, but that would not be a positive. That would be a negative. See, because there's three negatives. So one, two, three. So that would be negative. But what if we took that negative 6 from this and times that by a negative 1? So we're still getting 6, but now we have a negative times a negative using our first rule. Well, not our first rule, but this rule. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4th rule uh, is going to be a positive answer. So yes, it works. Positive. Whenever the numbers of negatives in the the factors, the integers are, whenever you have a, a, an even number of them, the answer is going to be positive. And we're going to kind of call it zero even, even though it's not. I don't think that's considered an even number, but we're going to call it even. And then two, and then four. Anything with an even number of negative integers will end up with a positive product anything with an odd number of integers like uh, here and here one or three or if we went to five guess what that's going to be one times if you did one times a negative i'm sorry this is negative one times a negative one times a negative one times a negative one times a negative you got five one two three four five the answer is going to be since it's an odd number it would be negative and so on full fourth all the way to infinity and beyond bye bye thank you for watching